Hola, bienvenidos otra vez. Welcome to audio and video number 22 uh, for our um, Volcan Builder for Victor's Adventures in Spain. Ahora estamos en la última parte. We're getting to the last piece. I've got, I'm on the last sheet of the vocab, and then we move on to verbs, okay? So, todavía estamos en las S. We're still in S's now. So the first word we're going to learn today is surprised. Surprised, okay? Now, the word for surprised is sorprendido. Sorprendido. Okay? And so, can you imagine how surprised you would be if you turned around and somebody had a saw and they're going to try and chop your head off? Okay? You would be sorprendido. Okay? Surprised. I'd be very surprised if someone was trying to chop my head off with a saw. Sorprendido. Okay. And next one is the word for luck, as in good luck, bad luck. Okay? Luck. And the word for luck is suerte. Suerte. Okay? So it sounds like swear to you. So imagine somebody saying to you they've lost all of the money constantly on the horses or gambling and they say, no, give me 10 pounds. I swear to you, I swear to you I'm lucky. I swear to you I'm lucky. Suerte. And you say, no, I'm not going to give you any money. Of course you wouldn't. All right, so suerte, luck. Okay. Now, and also say, Buena suerte, mala suerte, good luck, bad luck, okay? And when you say goodbye to somebody, sometimes you can say suerte, good luck, if you're gonna go somewhere, okay? So, I swear to you I'm lucky. Then we've got the word also, or to, as in T double O, to. You know, I'm, I'm this too, I'm this also. And the word for also is también. También. Okay, so how you remember this is, I also have a tambourine. I also have a tambourine. I have various instruments, but I also have a tambourine. Jesus wants you for a little something. Okay, I also have a tambourine. También. Next one is um, the word as uh, much or so much. As much or so much. Okay? And that word is tanto. Tanto. Okay? Tanto. You can say to somebody, well, you've got... Why have you got so much? ¿Por qué tienes tanto? Why have you got so much? Okay? Now, how are you going to remember tanto? Me pica. How are you going to remember tanto is this. You look at somebody, okay, and they've got one toe that's completely brown, tanned, absolutely tanned, and you say, why have you got so much tan on your toe? Why have you got a tan toe? You've got a tan toe. Why so much tan on the toe? Tanto, so much, okay? And they don't answer because they have no idea. And then we're going to do, um, we're going to learn, and you probably know this already, it's kind of like world renowned this word, but when you're in Spain and other Spanish speaking countries and they give you a little bit of food with your drink, it's called tapa. Tapa, okay? Tapa. Now, as I thought about this, I thought, well, it's easy. We just imagine as the plate comes that it has a little tap on it, a little tap. Okay, um, instead of a bit of tortilla, it has a tap, okay, and you just turn the tap on and the food comes out. Okay, then I thought, hang on a minute, I don't think that in the US they use the word tap or it might mean something different, because I know you use force it, don't you? I force it, I have to force it to open it. Okay, so just imagine then you get the plate and there's a little prawn on there and the little prawn's tapping on the plate saying, hey, 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 eat me, eat me. 
Okay? So, tapa. Sounds a bit cruel, that, you know, probably if it was tapping on the plate and saying, eat me, you probably wouldn't, would you? Okay. And then the last one is either the afternoon or late, as in arriving late. All right? Which is tarde. Tarde. So you've heard buenas tardes, which is good afternoon, yeah? So tarde is afternoon, and it's also late, which makes sense, doesn't it? Because if you arrive in the afternoon, and you should have arrived in the morning, you'd be very late. All right, so arriving, we have a, the same word, tardy. Okay, now whether it's used by many people, eh, that's not the point. Um, we say he's very tardy, he's arrived very tardy, that means late. It's exactly the same word, okay? Tarde. So, arriving in the afternoon late. Bien, okay, entonces, eso es todo. That's the, the little range of words here. So I'm going to test you now. So I'll give you the Spanish word, you give me the English word. Ready? Sorprendido. So there's somebody behind me with a saw, going to chop my head off, and I'm surprised. Sorprendido. Mm, did you remember that one? Um, it's not easy to forget, is it? Somebody with a saw behind you. Next one. Suerte. Suerte. I swear to you, I've got luck. Luck is suerte. Mm. And this one. También. También. I also have a tambourine. También. Also. And then this one. Tanto. Tanto. So that's... Why have you got so much of a tanto? Okay. So tanto is so much. Or as much. Mm -hmm. Tanto. This one. Tapa. Tapa. Eat me. Tapa is, well, it's the food that you get with your drink. Okay? And then this one. Tarde. Tarde. Tarde can be afternoon, which is like buenas tardes, or it can be late, as in arriving in the afternoon when you should have arrived in the morning. And we've got the same word, haven't we? Tardy. Ok, bien, hemos terminado esta, esta sección, eh, número 22, ok, número 22, ahora vamos a por el número 23, so we're off to do 23, hasta pronto chicos, hasta luego.